With the Bengals in the playoffs, fans are hoping to celebrate a win on Sunday. And every time the team scores, of course, the fans celebrate. Tonight, sports director John Popovich shows us what's in the Bengals fight song. It's happened a lot this year. The Bengals have found their way into the end zone. It's an occurrence that sends fans hooping and hollering, reveling on the team's success for the next half minute or so. You want to maintain that energy, so the PA blasts out that lame jungle boogie. Most fans take a swig of their beer and then, then, then comes the reason for this story. It was the late 60s, the Bengals were being born, and Paul Brown brought some friends from Cleveland to help get the Bengals started. One was his entertainment director, George Bird, and maybe it was Mr. Bird that decided the Bengals needed a fight song. So in the winter of 1968, maybe a winter's day just like this one with the temperatures falling and the snowflakes flying, George Bird penned the Bengal growl. Hear that Bengal growling mean and angry. Here he comes a prowling, lean and hungry. My friend Scott Simpson of the Bengals has the original sheet music in his files, and you can see that this was written six months before the Bengals ever played it down. Then I imagine Mr. Bird sat down at the piano and found a tune. It's not Irving Berlin, but they're still singing it today. The song gets the young and the old, the male and the female, onto their feet. They swing and sway, some get carried away. It doesn't exactly have Michigan's Hail to the Victor's Majesty or the Notre Dame fight song warmth. This is homegrown, um papa at its best, a true Cincinnati three-way, part silly, part cheesy, part chicken dance, and totally fun. The original version of the song is still the one that's being played. Nobody knows who does the vocals. Nobody seems to care. Hey, the Bengals just scored a touchdown. It's the Bengals' growl, a tradition nearly a half century old now, always followed by a perfect Cincinnati chaser. How about that? <laughs> nice story. Nice story by Popo. More Americans are looking for work these days. Coming up, what's driving the unemployment numbers down? Plus, Facebook.